you walking? <laughs> Hiker are so full. It's so sad. We haven't walked this much today. Oh god. I don't think I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, Man, logically, I, I know that it's dumb. Yeah. It's something I think about how they go, look, like... it's kind of, like, purple. Like, look at it. It freaks me out that they move, like, so erratic. Yeah. And I'm... Hey, so just left Casa de Luna, um, trying to make it to a small cave tonight to hide out because it's pretty foggy and rainy. Uh, it's windier up there, but yeah, so I'm going really slow because as you can know, I broke my other trekking pole. Yeah, look at my fingers, Casa de Luna. Um, I broke my other trekking pole and the weight... Um, on my foot is really starting to hurt because I don't have my trekking pole to, to hold the, my weight off of it. Um, so we'll see what happens. And also, my bedrocks, uh, the Velcro is acting pretty funny. It keep, keeps coming off because of the. Well, um, rain, I think. So, hopefully my dad can bring me my ultras. And, um, uh, my new trekking poles sometime. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. I swear. I had to put this up so fast. It's put on so shitty, but I care less. Oh, God. Mm. So windy. So rainy. I have to wait for my dad to get my trekking poles over here. I don't know, we'll see what happens and what he says. Because, oh my God. My foot is killing me. Because I can't get the weight off of it with the trekking pole. Whatever. Okay, so that was probably around 4 or 5 in the afternoon. I ended up not getting the poles until 8 o'clock at night. And then it took it two hours for me to drive up there and get it for her. So I arrived about 10 o'clock, woke her up, and uh, I assessed pretty quickly that she uh, probably should have a, a day rest. 
so I took her to her grandma and grandpa's, and uh, she did have a day, day's rest, and then she went back out uh, the following day and joined up with her crew at, uh, where is it, Hikertown? Yeah, Hikertown. Uh, so, hey, I just want to say that my daughter is a trooper. She is a fighter, just like here in her, uh, these just a couple of clips to add some time. Uh, clips of her playing water polo. As you can see, she's number 16 here, scoring here. And uh, she'll score here on this last one as I'm talking. Uh, there's no quitting, Daisy. I know that, you know, when she sets her mind on something, she can do anything she wants to. And if she ends up not doing the, the through hike, which is probably likely, she is going to give it everything she's got until uh, she can't go anymore. Now, I hope with that it doesn't do any permanent damage to her foot. Uh, but there's no quit in my daughter, and I, I love her for it. And, uh, as you'll be able to see, that you know, she's still going now. Here it is, uh, uh, May 20th, as I write, as I make this. Keep going, Daisy.